Hi, and welcome back to the Studio Eye YouTube channel. Today, we're going to reflect upon 2022 together. It has been a crazy year for me, so I'm very excited for this review, actually. I just released a podcast episode about how to review your year, so if you want to see that, I will link it down below. I thought we could do my review together today. And with that, I also want to say that this month, this past month, has been kind of crazy. Like, I almost reached a thousand people on this channel like I can't I still can't comprehend it so thank you so much for being there if there is anything that you want to know about me because yeah you're all new here because I am new here then just leave me the questions down below and I'll do my best to answer them and maybe I'll even do a Q&A video or something like that if it's something that you would be interested in so let me know in the comments and otherwise let's get started with my review so I have my 2022 wrapped board here, but let's start with my, oh, still the 2020, because I copied this from last year. So the 2022 wrapped, the 2022 word cloud is basically what some words that describe my year. And I would say that growth is for sure one of them as well as Studio I, because I really went somewhere with this. Yeah, I have, burnout, losing myself. I really, really lost track of who I was this year, but I also found myself. It's a bit cheesy, losing myself and finding myself, but I do really think that those are two very good words to describe this year. And I think, I think oy, growing up as well. I think I did a lot of, of, of growing up things this year. Um, and then we have global moments that mattered. I already filled those out. We weighed something from this summer. It really, really so Even though I don't live in the US, it, it broke my heart. Taylor Swift and Harry Styles, it was their year this year for sure. We had the heat wave this summer, the war in Ukraine, of course, the Qatar World Cup, the queen, that needs to be with a capital letter, the queen dying, like weird mass inflation and the energy crisis. So these are global moments that matter that sometimes can be easily forgettable. And I like to put them here so I have something to look back on. And then we have life moments that matter. So basically every single thing in this year that mattered in my personal life. So if we look at January, let's start here with Tempe, my cat. He almost died. And then I started a new job the day after that. I went skiing and injured my knee. Then I got my burnout. Flo, my best friend, moved twice this year. Fun IKEA trips. I quit my job. That was a rogue one without any plan. Without a plan, committed to. I really can't write. Committed to studio. I. I started YouTube. Let's add that it was the hottest year slash summer of my life. I read. 40 books, I connected more with family for sure, um, I got freelance clients, I got good at Facebook ads, that was also really cool, almost reaching a thousand subscribers, that was also Thank you. That's all up to you, but really cool. Cutting my cutting my hair short was also really cool. I, I was so attached to my long hair, so it's actually a big deal that I cut it short. I finished Start to Run, which was very, very nice because after two years of trying with injuries and stuff, it's 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 really an accomplishment. I decided to move to another city and we found an apartment 
we found an apartment. So those are the things that mattered this year, moments. And I probably forgot some moments, but it's still, it, it has been a year. I mean, this is just, this is just the highlight. Ideas that mattered, honestly, anything. Michelle B. And then an important one, people will still love you if you make mistakes. This was something that I had to work through in therapy. I always believed that I it was only valuable if I didn't make any mistakes. And in my job, for example, people got really, really mad if I made a mistake. And it made me so scared of making mistakes that it stopped me from taking action. So taking imperfect action is actually an idea that should be on there as well. So personal review, what went well? Well, let's start with almost reaching a thousand subscribers on YouTube, uh, freelance career taking off. I think I got closer with my boyfriend. Oh my God, can't type, can't type got closer, I helped my BFF start a business and she's thriving as well. Love that for her. But what didn't go so well, my new job sucked. I got a burnout. That, that wasn't fun. I was so fucking broke. I'm still very much broke and it's still very much not fun. Then I have my start, continue and stop list. My continue, list is the easiest that is running youtube studio i freelancing thrift shopping and putting myself first stop doubt absolutely stop doubting myself for sure um anything like trash I really need to start. So we're going to put e thing health healthy on the other side because I need it. Start taking a day off per week for sure. Let's just fast forward. So I added to start having loads more fun, taking pictures and videos every day to romanticize my life. I really want to be able to make those cute little TikToks paying attention to the small things, weekly plans with friends, family, or hummy, hummy, I call my boyfriend hummy often. So really, really connecting with them more, being grateful, budgeting and saving for a house, organize my life, create solid habits and routines, make new friends, hobbies in Mechelen where I'm moving to, yoga and maybe boxing. And then what I want to stop doing is living without intention and only wanting to be productive, bad eating, oh, that's on there twice. Really want to stop buying fast, fashion and I really think we should all do that. I want to stop overworking, I want to stop making a mess, I want to stop complaining and I really want to stop not regulating my emotions. I really want to work on learning to respond to situations instead of reacting. Still gonna take a lot of work but I really really want to make that work in 2023. Um, the what I am grateful for I am going to skip because it's kind of a repetition of what is up here so I'll do that just myself. And then let's see at what my goals were for 2021. It's a bit in shambles because I took it from my um, goal setting board from 2021, which was very, very elaborate. So I just took out all the goals that were on there and let's see what I did or didn't do. So I wanted to be able to work from home for my own job by the end of the year. I kind of did this. I still have to go to the office for my freelance job once a week, but I think I can say that I did this. And get to do a collab on Instagram and get stuff for free. I actually dropped that goal. The same thing as do a paid ad campaign on Instagram. So I did not reach these goals, but I decided somewhere in the beginning of the year that I was no longer interested in doing that. Uh, move into my dream apartment. We found it, but we can't move yet. So no, uh, get engaged. I did not do that. Create a thriving friend group. I did not do that. I did not run a 10K because I injured my knee and I couldn't run for months. So nope. 
did not read 45 books i read 40 so it's still a lot but not 45 i did not need a whole sweater i did get in line with my true self and i did start therapy and i wanted to be able to run with ease get up without feeling in pain and yes i do think i did that it's like a very elaborate description of what i wanted to do but i do think that i managed to get there um I wanted to feel supportive, happy and kind in my relationships, but also be more independent. Um, again, a really, really long description. And I think I did that. I really think that I'm less dependent for fun on my boyfriends. Fun, initiative and supportive. I want to be a friend that push, pushes you to do better. Yes, absolutely became a better friend like this. Absolutely did. Uh, I want to get better at Instagram and photography and fashion. Like I said, I dropped this. I want a fashion hobby, but I still make TikToks about fashion, but I don't want to make a career out of it anymore. I did not learn how to sew and I did not learn how to do pottery. And I'm very, very sad about these two things. So they're back on my goals board for this year. Painting as well. Saving, I did not save 35,000. It is really sad. Uh, again, be able to work from home and quit my 9 to 5 if I want to. I did. Grow Rainbow Fashion, this was the idea behind my Instagram. I did not do this, but I did start YouTube again. <clears throat> One video a week, yes, I did. I did do that. I did grow Studio Eye. But I did not book my first five clients and I did not make a thousand a month yet. Um, I did launch an online course that I can sell, but I don't have anyone there. So if it's something that you might be interested in, I actually have a workbook that you can check out and I will have my coaching program open up in March. If you want to, you can subscribe to the newsletter to keep update, to get updates about that. I did get into freelancing. I did learn more about history. I did learn more about marketing and I did learn how to run a business. Uh, I don't think I lived enough in the moment to actually take this one off. I did learn how to be a better partner, learn how, who I truly am, what works for me and what really makes me happy. Yes, I did do that and I'm really proud of that. Uh, buying from more cool stores, not fast fashion because it's easy, yes. Editing, yes. Cooking healthy, I did that during the summer. But yes, fix the kitchen, yes I did. Fix the living room, yes. Fix my desk area, yes. And fix Waskot, uh, Waskot, it's a Dutch word. Uh, it's like the utility where the laundry is. It's really small and it was really horrible, but I did fix that. So yeah, this is basically all the goals. I think I didn't do bad for a year where I was out with four months of a burnout. So I don't think that this, this is bad, actually. And then we can go on to looking at why I didn't reach some of these goals. So some of them, for me, anymore. Uh, we're not going to worry about financial goals. So some goals were too ambitious, for sure. And I did not have enough time. I will elaborate on this more, but I don't think that that's interesting for you guys to see. And then what did I do this year that I want to do differently next year? I want to work less and have more fun. That's really important to me. I don't want to be working all the time. And let me fill out the rest of this and get back to you. Yes, so I filled it all out with a little bit more detail. So I said that I want to balance more between work and fun. And I will really need to find my new balance between having to work a lot and the desire to have fun. Because I work full time and I do YouTube on the side and I really want to travel more and do more things. So I, I think that that's also why my team for next year is balance. It's really going to be a challenge to balance all of this. And I really feel like I was still a lone wolf this year that I really heavily relied on myself and I needed that time. I really needed that time to work on myself but next year, I really want to connect with people more and really find my group of people. And I want to live more in the moment as well. I live in the future. I am on a train towards the future and thinking about the future all the time. And I just, I won't get off. So I really want to start slowly because it's hard for me, but to live more in the moment and appreciate it now a lot more. 
and I will also want to focus on the physical health side more. I really dove deep into my mental health this year and I think I improved it a lot, but I think my physical health can still use a lot of work. So I really want to focus on that too. And I want to become a more positive partner. Even though I think I connected with my boyfriend a lot more, I think I can still become a more positive person towards him. And that is something that I think is really important to work on as well. So there you have it. Uh, this was my whole entire review for 2022. I really love reviews. I think you can learn a lot from it. I think that they also create a great time capsule to look back on in the upcoming years. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. And if you want to take action, you can check out the workbook or follow me on social media. And otherwise, I really hope to see you again soon. Toodaloo!